that the real is on the rise. Fuck them other guys. I even gave them a chance to decide. Now that's something they know. They know, they know, they know. What's up, Battlefield community? This is Shady Mike, and today I'm going to be reviewing the LSAT. I believe the LSAT is the most consistent, well-rounded gun in the game. I want to start with that. I truly do believe this is the most consistent gun over all ranges. Close, medium, and especially long range. I also believe this gun is the most noob friendly and I believe DICE intended it to be that way. Now for the first part of this video you're going to see strictly gunplay with the LSAT and later on you're going to see me use it in a full conquest match. Getting into the LSAT, what makes it special? I mean, what else can I say? I'm so shocked that this gun isn't more used. This gun is a simply a laser beam, as you see me just melt people at medium to long range. What makes it stand out versus the other LMGs? What it is, it's the first shot recoil. It has an extremely low first shot recoil. And when paired with the angled foregrip, which is what I'm always going to prefer you use with it, this gun becomes a laser beam out to 100 to 200 meters. You're going to see me get into a full game of Conquest here, get a couple kills in the attack boat. And the main thing when I'm using a vehicle is I want to feel comfortable when I get out of that vehicle, when I'm forced out of that vehicle, that whether my enemies are close or far away, I'll feel comfortable enough to be able to take them out. And the LSAT is the only gun I have used that makes me just 100% comfortable that I can kill anyone at any range, regardless of what gun they're using. And that's really a special uh, feeling to be able to have in a first-person shooter. And it's a great feeling to have. And it's one that lets you play very aggressively and very uh, confident. You don't have to take shots and say, oh, is this guy too far? Uh, is he out of my range? Because you're going to be able to hit almost anyone at any range so when you get into the LSAT I believe it's a very noob friendly gun to be honest with you I also believe DICE intended it to be that way it's the second LMG that you unlock and I mean this thing it just destroys and once you've really gotten the hang of it and it's become one of your better weapons, you can become one of the best players in a lobby. And you're a threat at any range, anytime you see someone. As you see me take out a sniper who had the vantage point on me, you're going to see me do that multiple times. When you watch this clip here, you're going to see I have 100 rounds in my magazine. It is belt fed. And you're going to see me take cover and take advantage of this mid-range positioning. And this is where this gun is absolutely lethal. Watch me drop people in my first two or three shots. And quite frankly, the reason that is, the reason it kills so quick, is just because it doesn't miss. I mean, you can talk about fire rate. You can talk about stopping power all you want. But... Guns, you know, fast firing guns like the the FAMAS, the MTAR, the ACW, you're going to miss a couple rounds. You see me, I had nine shots left and I dropped that guy. And you're going to see me here really take advantage of the magnifier that I love to run on the outset, dropping people at pretty long range here. One thing you do want to make note of is don't stand still too long or you're going to end up getting sniped just like I did there in that clip. Now here you're going to see me, I'm still, you know, really trying to play aggressively. I'm trying to stay on these flags and you're seeing I'm not able to burn this flag because the other team has too many on the flag. So I'm going to have to go get some kills. I see a guy on the mini map. He's an easy kill. He's not paying attention. I will take those tags. Thank you very much. Now here we go again. I'm in that prime position. You see I even have a suppressor on it. They have no idea where I am and I'm able to dominate at medium range. One thing, I do like the suppressor on the LSAT, but one thing, it does make it harder to hit people at long range because it lowers the velocity and it also adds to the bullet drop. So you're going to have to lead your targets a lot more and you're going to have to aim a little bit above them to make sure you're still getting that same accuracy. One thing about my videos, I, I just really want to make sure as a part of them is I want to make sure I'm letting you guys in on things. I want to make sure I'm just helping you guys become better players. 
And I mean, this is a gun where, you know, I'm a recon player and I stick with recon. That's my class, but I can play every class and I can play every class very well. Um, if you're looking for a gun just to improve your overall game, you just think about it. You have 100 rounds in your magazine. You have pinpoint accuracy and decent power. Now, it's not overpowered in terms of damage, but it does the job. You can drop people in four shots, and if you can hit your first four, this gun just becomes straight deadly. Every class normally in a game will have a gun that makes you want to play that class. You know, the engineers can have the MP7 or the UMP. The assault will have the ACE-23. Um, the recon class, basically, it's just a bolt-action sniper in general. I believe, you know, I normally don't play the support class, but this LSAT has really made me want to dive into the role of playing support more. So to wrap it all up, if you've still been playing Battlefield for a long time and you feel like you haven't found that go-to gun, a gun that you can always rely on 100%, I definitely want to encourage you to try out the LSAT. My preferred loadout for the LSAT is actually not with the suppressor, though you saw me use it a lot in this video. I prefer the Coyote Sight with the magnifier with a flash suppressor and the angled foregrip i believe that gives you the most deadly combination to be able to beat out even sniper rifles at long range and still be able to hold your own in close quarters against some of the faster firing weapons the lsat is definitely one of the most underused guns and i have to encourage you guys to try it out Thank you for watching my review of the LSAT, the most consistent gun in the game. Stay tuned for a clip from my review of the most dominant gun in the game. Take care, guys. Yep, I see him. He's on the roof. On the roof of Alpha. I'm going over here. I can't kill you, but I'm taking your ammo. I'm on A. Oh my goodness. The whole team is over here. Crap. That escalated quickly. Alright. Alright, 20-0. A modest 20-0. Now I can die.